Hi guys, today we're unboxing and setting up some speakers from Edifier. This is the R1280T. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Before we begin, if you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon to be notified of new videos. The YouTube algorithm is a bit strange how it works, so even by hitting the like button and dropping me a comment, you can help support the channel. So let's make a start. So I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. You get a user manual, which is multi-language. You get a compact remote control, which has three buttons, mute, increase volume and decrease volume. Plastic tab here, if I pull that out, it'll activate the battery. You get some speaker cable and the length of this cable is 2.3 meters. Build quality isn't too bad on there. If I come in close, you can see one has a copper color to it and the other has a silver color to it. Hence, enabling you to distinguish between plus and minus when you connect this up. You get a phono to phono cable on this and the cable length on this is 1.5 meters. Build quality of the cable seems reasonable. You get a 3.5 mil to phono cable connector. Build quality of the cable seems reasonable on this as well. Let's take a look at the speaker. So in terms of dimensions, we've got 24 centimeters by 14 and a half. The depth is 16 centimeters. The cover on the speakers is about 1.8 centimeters deep and they can be removed. So I'll just pull one off. That reveals the speakers within this. You can just see for yourself, you've got branding there. Obviously the four holes where the speaker grill sits on. You've got a base port there. In terms of finish, you've got a gray finish on the front behind the cover and then you've got wood veneer either side. So this side and on the other side. Now coming around the back, you've got the speaker connection points here. So this is a passive speaker, so this doesn't have any sort of amplifier built in, and this is the active speaker, and this is the one that would have the amplifier to drive the passive speaker on there. So there'll be a cable going from this one to this one. Looking underneath, you've got four pads to stop it slipping on the surface. Now I've taken the grill off the other speaker just to reveal what it looks like, and it's identical to the other speaker except for this area here, a black piece here. Now coming around the side, you've got an LED indicator over here and three controls. Bottom control is a volume control, and if I turn it, there's a notch every time you turn, and if I just keep turning, there's not a stop point and same with the minimum volume. There's no stop point. Obviously, the device itself will stop when it gets to the minimum and maximum. Looking at the next control, you've got base control and good solid feel to this one. And there's a notch when you get to zero. So if you're not looking at it and you're just turning it, you know when you've got to the center point. And the same with the treble as well. Same feel and the notch when you get to zero. Coming around the back on there, you've got the L speaker out. So this is the right speaker, that's the left speaker, and this is the point where you'd use a speaker cable to connect them together. You've got the power point here to turn it on and off. You've got input points here. So one's for auxiliary, the other one's for PC. And the thing to note about this device, it doesn't have Bluetooth connectivity or optical input. So if that's a deal breaker for you, then don't go for this. General build quality of these speakers feels good. So to connect the speakers up, very easy. Obviously, color indicators on here. I'll go for the copper for the red and the silver for the black. And I'll do the same on the other side. In terms of connecting it to the PC, I'm gonna use the Phono to 3.5 mil jack here. And we're gonna connect obviously the red to the red and the white to the white, and that's it. And then this gets connected to your PC. Just to note, obviously you're not limited to just using this on a PC. You could connect it directly to your mobile phone, for instance, or an MP3 player. And for the auxiliary point, you could connect that to a DVD player or your TV if there's an output on there. And if you were after the Bluetooth connectivity, you could get a Bluetooth dongle and connect directly to this to make it a bit more smarter so you don't have to have a wire connected to it and you could stream directly from your phone wirelessly. Now I've connected the speakers up to my PC, which is just over here at the side. You can see for yourself, it looks great. And connectivity wise, it's easy to connect up. Just plug in the 3.5 mil jack. I think it actually looks better without the speaker grills on there. What do you think? Now, in terms of usage, I've increased the volume on the PC and I've set the volume on the speakers to max together with maximum treble and maximum bass. I've got my sound level meter here. So let's play some music at maximum and see how it does in terms of sound levels. <laughs>
sound quality wise really good i've tried different tracks on there and really impressed with the level of performance you get out of these i think they're great desktop speakers to have if you're into the wood veneer side of things pretty cool sound quality is great as well and the actual build quality of the speakers is really good as well so really impressed by these speakers if you're after a set of bookshelf speakers for your pc setup i think they're ideal the only thing i could suggest which could enhance things a little bit more are some wedges to lift up the speaker slightly so they're angled towards you as you're working away so the sound's directed directly to you. If you're after something with an optical input or even with Bluetooth connectivities, these aren't the ones you wanna go for. But if you're after some basic speakers that you can connect to your PC, give excellent sound quality, these are definitely a bargain. So there you go, I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. Hang around for the end cards and I'll have a playlist with more speakers. Hit the like button if you've liked this video and drop me a comment, let me know what you thought of these. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.